Hey, Connie. Hey, Scotty. How are you? I'm great. We're at the LA Auto Show. And I love the LA Auto Show because this is like, to me, it's like the uh, celebrity miracle mile, but for cars, <laughs> as yeah. opposed to just uh, just an auto show. LA does a great job with their auto shows. And so we're going to show you some of the things that we've seen here. There's some great news. There's some great new cars. And Connie's going to tell us about this one right here because she got an up-close look the other day. So Connie, tell us about what is this car? Yes, this is the new Toyota Crown SUV, the Signia, and it is new for 2025. It's actually replacing the Venza, but it is a beautiful premium. I love this top trim. This is the limited trim and it has the gorgeous leather interior. It has a ton of tech inside. The back seats fold totally flat, giving you six and a half feet of space back there. We have all this tech. I love those bronze accents you see on the front dash. Hop in the, da hop in the driver's seat and show us. Um... Let's see how it looks on you. It looks amazing, doesn't it? It looks good on you. It's I a like super it. beautiful interior. I love everything, especially these bronze accents you see everywhere. It's all across the front, and I see the volume button has gone missing, but the volume uh -oh. button is also that bronze color. And this is really cool. So right now I have a big case on my phone, but this is the wireless charging slot, and it holds your phone in place. So for safety, your phone's not going anywhere, and it's charging wirelessly. Plus, we have tons of USB-C chargers. I think there's three up front and three in the back or something. There's a lot of charging spots, but let me show you those cool back seats. I love this color. Yes, this color is called Storm Cloud. Storm and we Cloud. saw it for the first time on the Grand Highlander. But look at this. Okay, so this seat is all the way back. So let me move this seat because you got to see this. Oh, wow. Oh, this is cool. These are, oh, there's no power, so well, I can't no move power, this so seat. We can't do it, but. But, but these, if you watch our Toyota Crown SUV video, because I already did a walk around with this, you will see me do this in the video. This folds completely flat. You have six and a half feet of space back here. And then these seats are 60-40 split. That is so clever. Isn't it? I think they must have heard me saying, dang it, there's a big hole here after I fold the seats down. <laughs> oh, we can't oh, open it because no there's power. no power. Oh, it's open. Oh. I just have to pull it. But it's power. Uh, oh, okay. There you go. It is a power lift gate. You see it also in my video that I open this on the video. But as you can see, there's tons of room back here. Ton of room. Yeah. So is this a hybrid, Connie? Uh, yes, it is. This is the hybrid, but not the hybrid max. So it's more of a traditional hybrid that's going to yes. get not so much horsepower, but a lot of fuel economy. Savings. That's correct. Yeah. Okay. But I truthfully, I hope the hybrid max comes on the Toyota Crown Signia SUV. Because you like, she likes the drive. She likes the sporty drive. I like the power and the Crown limited hybrid max I had at home as a test car was so much fun to drive. All right. Let's go see the new Camry. Yes, okay. let's do it. This is Maggie, and Maggie is a product specialist from Toyota. So Maggie, what do you do at the auto show? Yes, that's a good question. So I am here to represent Toyota and answer questions. I'm here to help people pick the vehicle that is best for them, their lifestyle, and for their families. And so when you come to an auto show as a shopper, Maggie, can you sell cars? I do not sell cars. There are no cars that are sold here at the auto show, which is a really big advantage because you don't have any sales pressure when you're here. You can have a one-stop shop to cross shop different vehicles from different brands all in the same place without any pressure of sales. We love that. All right. Thank you, Maggie. Thank you. And I love you know, the Girl's Guide to Cars. <laughs> thank you. And so come see Maggie at the LA Auto Show. And if you want really good advice, you want to know anything about any Toyota here, she's your girl. Thank you. Let's go places. <laughs> so Allison has joined us, and we're going to talk about the Camry because Toyota made a lot of news the other night uh, introducing not only the Crown 
SUV Signia. Signia SUV, how do they say it? Signia They SUV. just, yeah. And then also the Camry. Uh, and then we're gonna, we're gonna have, that's a good good place to tout or to tease. What else did you do when uh, with Toyota this week, honey? The new Camry. No, they, Tacoma? Oh, I drove the Tacoma off-road. She drove the Tacoma. On, and it was fantastic. And nope, I'm not allowed to say she meant the event was fantastic. <laughs> we cannot say anything about it until when? When's the November 28th? November 28th. So on November 28th, you'll have all of Connie's experience on the Toyota Tacoma first drive. Yeah. Super excited about that. What did you do this week? I went to the Genesis GV80 reveals and saw. Hold on one second. Okay, put that on because I want to hear what you have to say. In these people are loud here. What did you go to? I went to the Genesis GV80 reveal to see the all new design uh, SUV and the brand new Genesis GV80 Coupe. All right, and we're going to look at that, and Allison is going to show us everything that we need to know about the Genesis GV80 Coupe. But Connie and Allison, let's look at the Camry. Yes, this is the XSC trim, so it's the top trim. It's a sporty trim. I love the body color bottom bumper, as you can see, exposed exhaust. But my favorite thing is all this black. So we have a black roof, we have a black spoiler, and we have black on black badging on this XSE trim. I think it is so sharp, modern, and sporty. And then wait till you see the red leather interior on this top trim. It's called Cockpit Red. And I think it looks fantastic. We have two new screens there too, a big 12.3 inch digital display for the driver and a big 12.3 inch touch screen as well. And you get that on the top trims of the Camry, but let me show you the body color grill. I love it. When I first saw it, I was like, wow, is this a sports car or a sedan? Because to me, this screams sporty. I love the body color. And this is also a new paint color for the Camry. This was, um, I'm not sure which other models it's been on, but it's called Heavy Metal, and it's for the first time on the Camry. I know, Heavy Metal, right? It makes it sound kind of sexy. It makes it sound like this is like a sexy sports sedan. Yeah. <laughs> they can't hear me. Oh, it's like a hairband. <laughs> I love it. I, I think it looks amazing. I can't wait to drive it. That's awesome. So let's go over to, sorry. So let's go over to Genesis and see what, uh, what we saw, what Allison saw, I've seen a little bit of it, but there's a lot of news. Let's go over Genesis. Okay, so this is the GV80 Coupe concept. Is it still a concept? Or no, it's coming to production wait, for what? 2024. So there, this is going to be in dealerships. Yeah. So Allison got the walk around and all the details. I'm going to let her tell us yeah. about it. So what's the story here, Allison? This is more of a sports car version of the GV80, and it's all new, and it has a lot of performance upgrades for racing, but also the general luxury and comfort suspension upgrades. Uh, the shade of gray is an exclusive color. It has a little bit of a blue tinge to kind of stand out from all the other cement grays that have recently become really popular. Um, there's a black grill overlay with a matte black background and black accents to give it more of an aggressive, confident look because it is more racing oriented. It has the, the standard Genesis dual headlight design. These that, are lights. So those are lights there on the side? Yes. Yeah, those are cool. So just, and the style kind of ties it in with the rest of the lineup. But... And as you can see, the interior is racing oriented too with the bucket seats and the red accents. And I really like the style of the accent or the ambient lighting. And Genesis thinks of everything and they have plenty of storage. For all of I gear. love, what do you think of these dials? They're like beautiful. The, the They're glass elegant. glass and the textured metal. Personally, I love it. I love it. And does it have, oh, it has a panoramic sunroof. Look at that. Should we go look at the rear end, though? Because, you know, sure. you want, when everybody's uh Kind of has the, the fastback design. Mm-hmm. Woo. 
And of course, that wall moves. I just <laughs> learned. <laughs> all wheel drive too, which is beneficial for driving in snowy conditions. Uh huh. Is that standard all wheel drive? I'm not sure. I'll have to okay. double check. No, just curious. And there's the GV80 Coupe. I love, what do you think of this design? What do you think of the silhouette, Allison? The silhouette's definitely sportier than the mm -hmm. G80 sedan or the other GV80, which is a little bit more set up for uh, larger families. And so, come over here, and let's let's talk about this. We got to talk about this yeah. because this. Uh, sort of silhouette has been really popular with Audi, Mercedes, and BMW. They have taken their um, basic basic SUVs and turned them into what they call sports coupe, and they're a little um, controversial. I think a lot of people don't like them. They say, "Oh no, an SUV needs to have a square back." What do you think? I think that Genesis is doing it a little bit better than everyone else. Yeah. Uh, they have a new authentic design that helps them stand out against the competition. And I think they're kicking Mercedes butt, honestly. <laughs> I, well, you know, inside they're very different because Mercedes has like that, like real, like a button or a dial for everything kind of approach to some of their cars. They're walking away from that a little bit. But I think uh, BMW also, there's a, a lot to learn and the Zen feel like that sort of reduced, uh, more calm type interior. I really like that. I think Genesis does a nice job with that. I'm going to say, I love the sports coupe. To me, that's like, it's like a fashion sneaker, <laughs> you know, it gives you, it gives you everything that you want in that silhouette. Uh, it gives you maybe a little less headroom, maybe a little less cargo space. So if you really need to stuff things in the back, yeah, you don't have quite as much space for that. But uh, yeah, but luckily the other newly redesigned GV80 has more space in the back for the people who need it. Yeah, so you have your choice. Would you like to hop into the uh, driver's seat and show us what that looks like? Yeah. I would love for you to get in there. Let's see if we can move this gentleman out okay. of the way. Sorry about that. This is the part of the show for girls, guys, cars. Hey there. As we're shooting video. <laughs> hey guys. All right, Allison, hop in. We got this moment. Hop in and sit behind the driver's seat. Hit it behind the wheel. Um, busy day here at the well, Auto Show. I'm five one. I think this so car looks really space. good on you. Don't tempt me. <laughs> <laughs> it's beautiful. So the steering wheel is gorgeous. I love the red stitching. It feels. Oh wait, show us the seatbelt. That's so Ooh. cool. That is a striking design that yes. I haven't seen before. That is nice. Oh, I like that. And then I can set that my phone great. right here on the charger and forget it. With wireless Apple CarPlay and all that. Oh, stuff. Well, oh yeah, check that out. And then we have this nice large flat screen. It's truly flat. It's not curved oh. at all. It's truly flat. I like how it's uh, embedded there. And it looks like we're going to have, uh, is that a live, a digital rear view mirror? Pull the tab is. on the bottom. Is there a tab on? Yeah. yeah. Digital mirror, digital rear view mirror. And it looks like there's a head up display here. I see the box for the head up display. So all the luxury things that you expect from Genesis, but look how just calm and beautiful this whole space is. It's not cluttered with all kinds of buttons and dials and things yeah. that are just just uh, confuse and, and clutter, right? And there's a lot of good side hugging here. Yeah, so bolstered seats. In place around curves if you feel like drifting. Yeah, did they, t did they give any engine specs to this car? We know like what the engine size is and horsepower. <sighs> she would be the one to ask. Okay. Ashley right there. Oh, no. <laughs> we'll add that. We will add that in, uh, we'll add that. But yeah, uh, no doubt it will be impressive. All right, thanks, sure. Allison. I think we should he head over to, I'll do that. I think we should head over to Lexus and see the Lexus GX, what do you think? Yeah, oh, definitely. Yes, that's a good one to see. Okay, we have the answer. It is a six cylinder with 409 horsepower, which means, ta-ta, see you later. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right, we are gonna walk over to Lexus. <laughs> So, Allison, do you like off-roading? I do. It's one of my passions. Do you like off-roading a lot? I do. Any chance I get. And do you like luxury? Uh, it 
depends because no? Land Rover okay. luxury is a lot If you don't like luxury, than... get out of here. Oh. <laughs> because this is the Lexus GX. It is brand new, completely redesigned. They needed to redesign this for so long. People have been begging for a redesign because while it's an amazing SUV and it actually is the choice for so many off-roaders, this is one of the most modified SUVs for off-road. There are entire companies that are dedicated just to modifying the Lexus GX, this specific one. And it is uh, it is the off-roader's dream because of the size, because of the four-wheel drive, because of the space, and because of the reliability, because people will drive these things for like 300,000 miles, they'll tow boats, they'll tow trailers, they will put gear up there and ladders on the back, they put skid plates, they put huge off-road all-terrain wheels and tires on them so it has been a popular one and so part of the redesign that lexus did with the gx was to make it even more uh, capable for all of those modifications that you would want to put on this and it's so uh, just a beautiful blend of the retro classic design with modern tweaks yeah so i think that's something that's been very popular with this car and that is like the square you know the very square rear end the light bar all the way across the back um i don't think that they must have it i don't know can i open this i kind of want to but i won't <laughs> i don't know i guess it would open with that ladder there we go Okay, you have more courage than I do because I wasn't going to open it. But check this out. Oh my out. gosh. There's so much and space. This will have a third row. Yeah, you can yeah. option this with a third row if you want to. This one doesn't have it because I think it would be up. But you can see there are cup holders um, and there's cup holders and there's probably USB ports. I can't really see. It's a big dark and hole. The lattice style gear holder yeah. for all of your tools. And oh, here's yeah. a nice touch. That's awesome. And what is this back here? Is that a, a that's an air compressor. So you can um, pull up an air mattress or probably more conveniently inflate a tire yes. <laughs> if you need you to. You can add more air when you're ready to get back on the pavement after you've aired out, down your tires for off-roading in the sand. Yeah. So they're really thinking about how people are going to use this car. Let's go and see if we can climb into the front seat though because there's some very cool features in the front seat and that was really the user interface and all of the buttons and dials and all of that that was really what made this car feel so dated was that they needed to hey there yep one minute go ahead so let's take a look at the front seat of this car and uh and everything that they've done differently so the new uh, lexus multimedia system it's got that new screen there is a new gear selector and they've really streamlined and simplified that center command console the steering wheel and then a, do, a new driver information screen that's all digital i also see a head-up display in this version which is an awesome feature and a lexus that's what you should have but everything is streamlined and modernized i also love that two-tone leather and that's going to be something that's really comfortable okay and let's just finish and let's go to uh, volkswagen okay I cannot wait to drive this. I bet you Lexus is going to entertain uh, a lot of off-roading in this. I think we'll see it in the Rebel Rally next year. Fingers uh, crossed. Yeah, fingers crossed, because that would be pretty awesome. Lexus actually has, I think, been very competitive in the Rebel Rally in the past, so this will be a great proving ground. But I want to show you guys, and I want to get your opinion and your opinion, Connie, of something that's super interesting here on the floor of the auto show and actually the main reason that this brand is here is to show off this one car come with me so connie come here you have to look we've got to look at these two things this one which is the volkswagen id7 and the volkswagen id buzz i love this van so much we have spent a lot of time working, uh, a lot of time looking at Volkswagen's electric cars yes. and talking about their electric development, which is pretty amazing. The company has really 
come a long way. But I want to show you some of the things in the ID7 that we will have a video on our YouTube very shortly. That's a quick look and a first drive of the Volkswagen ID7, which is the new flagship. Let's uh, let's look at what you get though. What yeah, I'm curious to see about. it. I have not seen this yet. Yeah. So the ID7 is the new flagship, and what makes it the flagship is all the technology in this car. So it is a really lovely mid-size sedan. It's quite large. It's actually surprisingly large on the inside. It's got this really wide back seat. It has one of the things that's so cool about this is it looks like a sedan, but it's actually not a sedan. It is a hatchback. So you have this beautiful hatch space and you can put the seats down to uh, fill it with cargo if you want to. But come here and let me show you. I love what, that new trend, I'll be honest. I like the it too. The sedans with the, with the sport hatchback. I like it too. And I want you to look in here though. Um, this, this is very cool. This is so cool. There's no driver information screen here. You get this tiny little screen here that'll show you your battery charge, your speed, like just key information. And then everything else that you need to know is gonna be on this screen here. And it has voice activated assistance. So you can say, hello, Ida. It's not gonna work in here because we're in a convention center with no cell phone signal or no, wi no Wi-Fi. So it's not connected, but you'll be able to activate whatever it is you need using the screen and your voice. So you just ask for what you want. There's a really lovely center console here. There's a little storage space underneath here. And then check out this ambient light that goes all the way around. And of course, you can change the color if you would like to. So also, uh, that's exciting news, is this is the, the furthest, the longest range that they have. It's about 340 miles, and it's almost 300 horsepower in terms of power power. So a really long range and really good driving power, which is amazing. And then of course, all synthetic uh, leathers and synthetic materials that is just so in keeping with electric car development. So it, even if a hatchback or a sedan isn't for you, this is one that's worth watching because we're probably going to see, would be my guess, we'll start to see a lot of this technology and a lot of these details coming to SUVs from Volkswagen pretty soon. All right, let's go see what else is on our list to do. We need to go to Hyundai. Should we go to Hyundai? Yes. Let's go to Hyundai. All right. All right, and here we have the ID Buzz, the very cool electric minibus from Volkswagen. It is so unique, very funky interior. Love that panoramic fixed glass roof. I don't think I've ever seen one so big. And this color is incredibly unique. Look at all this space back here, wild. And here at Hyundai, we see the all new Hyundai Santa Fe. We do have a full video with this one, so do check that out. But this was the big reveal for Hyundai here at the LA Auto Show. It's the 2024 Hyundai Santa Fe. Let's have a look at this unique one over here. And then I'm gonna show you the XRT off-road concept, hopefully, which will make it to here in the US. I love the new boxy design. It's very unique, um, totally different than the outgoing Santa Fe. Go have a look at our video. Here we have the XRT concept. This is the off-road rugged version of the Hyundai Santa Fe. And as I mentioned, I hope this one does make it past a concept. love this green color. It is very cool. Oh, we have the sounds of nature in here. As you can see, there's room for two phones side by side on the wireless charging panel. XRT embossing. Unique new steering wheel for Santa, for Santa Fe for Hyundai as well. This design is super cool. You know what this is? This is to hold on to as you step up to grab things from up top. It's actually an actual handle. 
And this new tailgate for the Santa Fe is a huge part of this design. They designed a lot of this vehicle around this super wide tailgate and look at all that room. Seven seats, rugged capability, very cool design. And here we have a beautiful fully electric from Acura. This is the Acura ZDX. Let me show you. I think it is so, so beautiful. I can't remember. Oh, I do remember the name of this color. This is Tiger Eye Pearl. And a really, really unique color. We've got a whole video crew in there, so I can't get in there to show you the inside. But super cool design love the contrast black roof this is the type s this is all electric this is going to be the performance version of the zdx but yeah really really beautiful can't wait to drive it all right gorgeous let's go for a drive this is the honda prelude concept hybrid concept that debuted in japan recently and secretly made its way here to la look at all this blue brake calipers carbon fiber roof carbon fiber spoiler mirror caps blue calipers I believe those are brembos this beautiful front end hybrid hopefully it makes it into production hey connie hey scotty so what do you think of this this is very futuristic looking. This very is futuristic. What is this? This is the Kia EV4 concept. So it's not it's not an actual production vehicle yet, but look at the inside. It looks like a living room in there. I wish they would open it the does. rear door too because they showed us video and it looks so, so wild. But yeah. I think it looks really cool. I love the color. Um, those wheels are something else. They and are, aren't they? That color is really cool. So electric cars of the future. I love how minimalist that dash is. Yes. So you see how it just extends out and there's the steering wheel. Yes. It also looks to me like that steering wheel might at some point tuck underneath. Yeah. You know, it looks yeah. like it might be able to fold underneath and give you uh, a little clear space for whatever it is you're going to do. Perhaps let for the, the car future. drive exactly. you. Exactly. Yeah. Perhaps for the future when and the then car is driving us. This is the concept uh, EV3. Yes. Let's, let's see if we can get a little bit of a better view yes. of that. Now they it, have them uh, roped off here, but step up over here and let's see if we can work around this film crew. Because I think I these see. this style door is always very cool to look at, but it's not really all that functional usually. Yeah. But that those back seats look like chairs, like recliners almost, yeah. or a couch. Yeah, really cool. Very curious really to see cool. what comes like of these. Can you imagine um, putting kids in car seats with doors that open like that? Yeah. Do you think it would be easier? I think it would be way easier. Oh my gosh, getting everybody in the car with doors that open like that, to me, would be so easy. Yeah, I guess. It really just depends on how they latch. Yeah. Because I had a car with that style door and it mm -hmm. was a pain to get the kids in and out of the back seat. Really? Yes. So even with the doors that open? Yes, uh, because you had to unbuckle your seat belt. Doors that they yes. yeah. you had to un so me as the driver, if I wanted to let somebody in the back seat, I had to unbuckle my seat belt and then open my door and then open their door. So it depends uh, on how So they couldn't they get work. in by themselves. Right. Gotcha. It was a bit okay. of a pain. I, I yeah. did find that. Okay. So it depends how they open. And of course, this is just a concept, so we don't know. This is just a concept. Yeah. But I do like those doors. I do think that is just the coolest looking I thing. I love how open it looks, for sure. Yeah. Let's walk around and look at the front of this because the Kia concept is not just the interior, it's also the exterior. So it has these uh, this EV logo that is something very similar to what we've seen. So you can yes, see it, right there. it looks a lot very like EV9. Very similar to what we see on the EV9 and the, and the EV6, yeah. yeah. And then 
that you know flat wide flat hood and the pixelated headlights yes. The pixelated headlights on the kia ev9 are some of the coolest headlights i think yes. i've ever seen yes it really looks like a video game come to life as opposed to a car yes that's just you know composed of the the same old same old you yeah. know yes i agree it's very cool let's go over and look at the other news they had today the kia sorento yes let's Kia Sorento for 2024. Is mm -hmm. that what they said, 24? Yes. And it has some new details. Yeah. It looks sharp. I think so too. I've always loved the Sorento, I Me will too. say, but this looks even better, Sorento. Yeah. It's very inspired by the Telluride and the EV9. The Telluride, the Telluride. Yes. So Connie, show us what's new for 2024 in the Kia Sorento. So this is the X-Pro, which is new for the Sorento, which is like the off-road trim of, of the Sorento. It's the off-road trim for Kia. And so therefore this gets a higher uh, ride height. So it's more ground clearance. Um, and we get beefier tires. They're bigger and they're more capable. Gosh, I love those wheels. I just noticed those. They are um, so cool. But there's a few other things that make it more rugged, like uh, having roof rails and things like that. But then of course, Kia, you get like a super high-tech interior. Ooh, I love this interior. Look at this two-tone steering wheel. Ooh. It's really beautiful. Oh, it's all leather. It's all it's leather. leather on the outside and on the inside. And then we it's have beautiful. a gorgeous tan leather. Look at this embossing on the seat, the X-Pro embossing. So while though this is the off-road trim, it's still very, very luxe in here. Yeah. And I've always loved the space of the Sorento. It's got three rows. Mm -hmm. It's very roomy. It's very capable and it's, it's these beautiful it's, captain's chair yeah and then it also has a third row which is down right now yes. so somebody put it down to show the cargo space it has this really beautiful panoramic sunroof so it'll we have driven their x-line telluride and the x-line sportage off-road and it's impressive it's yeah really i would love impressive. to i would love to try this one off-road do you think they'll have this in the rebel rally for 2024 i think they were hinting at it yes then i um probably i don't know do you think they'll do a plug-in hybrid of this version yes i think so i hope I so. so yeah i hope so the plug-in hybrid kia sorento is one of my very favorite very favorite cars because not only do you get the uh all of this great space but the plug-in hybrids are the top tier trims yeah so you get all the great leather you get all the really good features and this new um widescreen uh yes. entertainment system yes so and then 35 miles of all electric driving which is really yes awesome. i love that so let me ask you this. Uh, is there anything at the show you haven't seen yet that you really want to see? Of course. And what is that? Lucid introduced an SUV here at the show today. I think we need to go see it. Yes. And it's a three row. It's a three row. It's a three row. <laughs> this was the big news that started the day here at the LA Auto Show. Yes. Lucid, which won World Luxury Car of the Year last year for the Lucid Air, which is uh, over there introduced an SUV finally yes and you know what you are not a real car company if you don't make an SUV honestly. especially yeah three row EV like I'm super excited for this one over 800 horsepower 800 horsepower and what was the range that they said 450 yeah 450 I don't remember 450 440 actually I think I'm wrong 440 miles of range on a charge now that is the max and 800 horsepower is the max so they probably will roll out some trims that have slightly lower range maybe more in like the 300 range and slightly lower horsepower i would guess still probably four or five hundred horsepower on those lower trims which is both of those numbers are still awesome so connie Let's show us around well what? i just tried to open the the, the uh, front trunk or the front but it doesn't open for me but they, there is a, a frunk in here with storage that contributes to the, the overall car. could actually space. sit in and probably close. Maybe it's so big. They said. And look at this light bar. I'm, the light bar. The I mean, it's such a lucid thing. Yeah. I love it. And these wheels are massive. And then we have our um, lucid signature California Bear. Yeah, I love how they do that because this car is designed in California and built in Arizona. So it's truly and oh, look at the top, the handles. Yeah. It's truly an American luxury. 
And you know what they do on their door sills? They, they usually put where the car was designed or built on the door sill. Let me wait someone yeah. locked it from the interior. Oh, okay. All okay. right, well, let's have a look. Gravity name is here embedded in the back. There's oh, a look. light bar that spans the whole rear. I love this. It says Dream Edition. Dream That's edition. really cool. That is really cool. Did you get this lighting? It's like it's yeah. it's like an actual light. There's not glass oh, covering it. Oh yeah, look it. at that. Oh wow. That, that is, is wild. So cool. And then we have some more beautiful badging. But we can't get in. You said right? Yeah. No. Yeah. No getting in. No okay. getting in. We can sit in the front seat, but not the rear. Look at. So this is. This is what I was talking about. I, I was in the Lucid Air and Lucid Air Pure not too long ago and I thought that was really cool. What I can see is these seats, the back seat is on rails. Yeah. So that's gonna mean a lot easier access for the third row. It is, and here's the third row. So it's the third row seats too. And then the center row here has a bench. You know what I notice immediately about these, Connie? Mm -hmm. Is that center row can fit a full-size child passenger car seat. Yeah, because it's super wide. You can wide. easily fit three car seats here. Yeah. In the in the on the rear bench of the and Lucid I love, Air. Look at the roof. I know it's hard to see in here because it's dark, but there's a. Is fixed... there going to be a, a captain's chair option? Do you know? Oh, okay. We'll look have at the to ask panel. That question. Look at the fixed Let, glass roof. What is your question? Is there's going to be a captain's chair option? Oh then my it would gosh. only see six, this roof. but still awesome. I don't know if you guys can see that, but it spans literally the entire roof. It goes from the windshield all the way up and there's this pillar where the lights are. The lights are actually embedded right there on the roof. And you see those lights? That's the lights in the uh, ceiling of the convention center. And it goes all the way back. This is quite stunning, quite stunning. Imagine if this was your car. And there's a screen here too. So there's um, vents there, the gravity name there, vents there, and then a screen to control probably climate and maybe even music. That's amazing. I'm gonna do a quick interview. Oh, you know what else I see? I see a camera right here, which means that you should be able to use facial recognition at some point to open and drive the Lucid Gravity. Uh, let's poke in here a little bit because this gentleman is sitting here and I'm gonna to try to get into the seat, but you have a main screen here and then you have this screen here yep. this really beautiful curved glass screen and that is your driver information and multimedia and look at the image on there so you can actually add different images the ocean or the, the bluffs and the fireworks there's the ocean there that this is just so elegant and look how beautiful this is the ultra suede they're ultra suede on the big color. It's really beautiful, really beautiful upholstery. So elegant, so elegant. I want to go over Connie and look at the adventure trim. That yes, they have outfitted with surfboards and mountain bikes. They've used the, and mountain bikes. They've used this to demonstrate. Hey, Dave, how are you? Dave, I have a question for you. Okay. Will this be available with captain's chairs? Um. That's being worked on eventually. That okay. I think I just need attention. Uh, okay. But, but at, launch, at launch, it's only a center row yeah. bench. Yeah. Okay. Not bad news for people who need three car seats a row across the center. Um, but look at this. They have fit a full size surfboard and two mountain bikes there behind the. Uh, they folded all the seats down. And I, so. and I believe this has air suspension, if I caught that in the presentation yes, correctly. Did. Yeah. Because I would think you would want a higher ride height than this for off-roading, because I'm five foot one, mm -hmm. and I'm at the top of the vehicle right now. So yeah. I would think for drive modes, they're going to have an off-road mode that will lift the vehicle substantially. That's my guess. Yeah, I think you're right about that with the... Uh, the note about the air suspension. And then let's see, what is this? Probably an outlet. I'm afraid to touch anything because they're all prototypes. Yeah. <laughs> so I don't want to touch anything, but probably a power outlet. It looks like we have power. Well, that's the lift gate there. And let's walk around to the front. Let's see if you can open the door. I don't know if, oh, it's probably not open. Yeah, I don't think this one opens because there's yeah, this one's not nobody open. What a beautiful interior. And then it has these really nice roof rails. So you could actually add your surfboard there on the top of the gravity as well. 
love these wheels. So I these like the other wheels, ones better. Did you know that these wheels are designed to be aerodynamic? Yes. So they, rather than letting the air slip through. Oh, here we go. Oh, here's the front. Yes. Look at that. Oh, you can, you can frail gate. Yeah, frail gate. Front, <laughs> you can front, frail gate. Front <laughs> gate. Front tailgate. Frail yes. gate. Oh, I love it. This is great. And they even offer you this really beautiful and it's um, leather or seat. Foam leather, yeah. Yeah. It's amazing. So you can. Uh, Plus we have pop power. That out. We have power outlets There's up a here. power outlet there. I think it opens yeah. actually from the. Nope, it should open from the bottom, but oh, hands oh, off. So we're not going to pick at it. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, that is beautiful, and it's a nice big front too for storage, not just for sitting in. <laughs> it really is. Well, they say that the uh, with the frunk and all the cargo space, it's over a hundred cubic feet of cargo space. So that's, that's pretty amazing. Wild. We love these materials. Love, love. I like this interior better. This gray with the pinstripe. I like both. I, I think they're like both the beautiful. Gray. I like the gray better than the sort of luggage color. I also love the flat steering wheel. That is so elegant. So beautiful. Yes. Very. I cannot wait to drive this one, Connie. Absolutely. So did they say when it's going to be available? I don't think so. I didn't catch that if they did. Yeah, I didn't catch that either. But based on how things usually work and how they introduced and rolled out the air, and I will say they, they introduced and rolled it out a little more slowly than most manufacturers, but it still was about nine months to a year from the time that they introduced it mm -hmm. to the time we started to see it in press fleets and be able to take test drives. So hopefully before this time next year, would be we'll amazing. be able to take a drive in the lucid gravity. Amazing. All right, Connie, thanks for being part of the uh, the, the broadcast with Absolutely. me today. It's always so much fun to tour an auto show. It is. is my feet are tired. Are yes. you feet tired? Oh, yes. yes. We've covered a lot of ground today and I think it's time to go and uh, kick our feet up a little bit and enjoy being in LA. Yes. All right, thanks everybody for joining us. Bye.